tomorrow as much as it did yesterday for Rick. This is on board now with Rick. You see there's lights on the top of the dash are the gear selection lights. Just have a look at some of the steering movements. Get a really good feel there up to fourth gear, up to fifth gear. So you see those gear change lights then back to second for turn one. Get a really good feel for what the car's like with the sort of steering and the way that Rick corrects the car. It's got a nice flow going through two and three. Back to this really tight left-hander at turn four and down through the corkscrew. Must make a great exit here at turn six. On the throttle early, use all the road, grab a gear. Good work, mate. It's Dave Svensson saying, good work, mate. Heart rate. 187 beats per minute. You do that for an hour and a half and you'll know at the end that you've been in a motor race. He's made a bit of ground there under brakes, gets it turned pretty well for turn eight. Again, you've got to make nice exits out of turn nine or couldn't come out of gear there. So that's one of the traps. You get onto the curb on the outside, the car starts to wheel spin and the car won't come out of gear. So he lost ground to Craig Lowndes. He worked hard in the first part of the lap, up to six gear, 260 kilometers an hour, braking hard, made a lot of ground under brakes at the end of that back straight, through this little flip-flop, a little bit of oversteer, you can see the correction come back on. Another nice exit, very early gear change, and this is this fast section, 15, 16, 17. Just have a look at the wheel movement, all positive lock, meaning no slide, no opposite lock and back down to a late gear change. Gets it turned, 